All right, Vortex, so we almost died once again. We get more a little homeless man though, that's, that's good. Homeless people are so awesome. I feel sorry for people that they can't give to somebody in need. Yeah, you got you got to keep bills on you so that you can do that. You know, it's very important. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we we um we almost cut somebody off trying to get all the eggs in, and then somebody cut me off, but can't get mad about it because I know I'm driving screwy. <laughs> yeah, man. It's crazy times we're living in. It's really important that you try to do good things for people. I've been seeing all kinds of just, just nothing but hatred all over the internet. Nothing but selfish crappy crap, you know, every man for himself sort of bullshit. That's not going to save you. That kind of attitude is not going to save you. That, that's what's so stupid about these people. They think that if they get all this ammo and food and uh, Bitcoin, and it, it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, not, none of that shit's going to save you. Only God can save you. I just pity these people who don't believe in God. And they might say that they do, but... I don't, I don't think that they do. I really don't. Because, like, if, you, if you're trying to declare, like, what's going to happen, then that's pride. That's your pride. That's your ego of saying, oh, I know. I know more than God. I know what's going to happen. This is the way that I'm interpreting this. And so, I'm putting this out there on the internet. I want everybody to know that this is what's going on. Fuck you, man. Like, I'm not going to tell you you're going to burn in hell or anything like that because I don't know that. I don't know that. Even if it says something like that in the scripture, like, it's not up to me. It ain't even up to that scripture, really. I mean, God decides. Damn it, God decides. The fact that so many people want to want to beat people over the heads with this shit. It's not gonna work out that way, folks. Like you telling somebody they're gonna burn hell for being a homosexual. First of all, that's bad optics. You really think that people are gonna be like, oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna stop taking it up the butt all because you told me that God thinks that homosexuality is an abomination. So, so therefore, I'm gonna accordingly you know like people don't realize you know it's it's up to us to represent God in in the most loving way possible and I don't think that what these people are doing is is anything close to that and it, it really upsets me because it, it, it turns people away from the sunlight of the spirit. It turns people away from what God has to offer because they have no idea what God has to offer because that, that's all that supposed God people are offering them. Shit advice. And I, I'm not sorry about this. I'm not sorry about this at all because, you know, I feel, I feel like if people realize that God is love, if they realize that you know, God just wants us to understand that. Not only will we love ourselves more, we love our fellow man more because our fellow man is ourself and our fellow man is just another version of God. You know, and I, I realize though, that, you know, there are plenty of, there are plenty of wicked people in the world, if you can even call them people. You know, there's all kinds of wickedness. But I think that people definitely mistake mental illness and confusion for wickedness. There are plenty of people out there that are just crazy. And if they're crazy, they're, they're more easily manipulated by, by the wickedness of the world. 
And so you treating them like they're wicked when really they're just sick, you know, that's not going to fix anything. That's not going to solve any problems. You know, God really likes it when you try to get more people into the kingdom. And I don't think that you can get more people into the kingdom by just telling them that what they're doing is a sin. You know, I, I don't think that's the way to go about it. But, you know, who am I? What do I know? Maybe I'm just some stupid piece of shit. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm very open to that idea, too. 